In this video, we'll show you how to fix HDMI no signal on PS5. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So no signal usually means one of three things, wrong HDMI input or bad cable, the PS5's video settings don't match your TV, or there's a problem with the HDMI port. So if you want your PS5 to stop booting into a black screen, I'll show you how to fix that. So first make sure the basics are solid. On your TV, use the remote to switch to the exact HDMI port your PS5 is plugged into, HDMI 2, and etc. And wait a few seconds on each to see if it picks up the console. If it still shows nothing, power everything off, unplug the HDMI cable on both ends, wait 10 seconds, plug it back in firmly. If you have another high speed HDMI cable, swap it in and test it again. Also, try another HDMI port on your TV if you can. You can also quickly test the PS5 on a different TV or monitor. If it works there, the issue is likely with your TV. If you still get no signal, the PS5 might be set to a resolution your TV can't handle. Turn the PS5 off completely and now press and hold the power button for about 7 seconds to go into save mode. You need to connect your controller with the USB cable, press the PS button and you'll be here. Go to change video output and then change resolution and hit OK. The PS5 will restart in a low resolution. On the next screen, pick automatic or a safe option like 1080p, depending on what your TV supports. If you now see the PS5 home screen, you fix the no signal issue by resetting the video output. If you still have problems, go back into save mode and again choose change video output output, then look for options to change HDCP mode and set it to 1.4 instead of automatic. This can help with certain TVs and some capture cards. 